Yep. All right. Welcome in, everybody. I'm Jen. This is Zoe. <laughs> Today we're going to be making the clothespin birds. They're funny. They are funny. Yes. How do they look? Uh, like this. Good. Like this. Bug your eyes. Like that. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to go through the supplies real quick um, and then we'll get started. Okay. All right. So, and if you, if you want to chat with us, you can ask questions in the Q and A and Hamina who's with us today is going to be reading through the chat and she'll ask your questions to us and we can talk about substitutions if you don't have everything. Um, but let's get started. So you're going to need some clothespins. And if you don't have clothespins, I'm already anticipating some people saying, what if I don't have a clothespin? You can use uh, popsicle sticks. So just the wooden popsicle sticks. And you're gonna want some feathers, which we have an assortment of colored feathers here. Watch out, cause your cat will like to eat those. Um, some foam, I have some foam pieces, or if you don't have foam, you can use felt. If you don't have foam or felt, you can use um, construction paper or cardstock. Yes, Zoe, do you have a question? What's this for? The foam, that is for making the beak. Ah. So see the beak on the bird? This little orange beak? That yeah. is foam. And you can make it with felt. You can cut out a little beak with felt or paper. But why is it like these colors? It's only supposed to be yellow or That is orange. a great question, Zoe. We can make our birds any color that we want. So if you want to make a bird with a green beak, I've seen birds with different colored beaks before. Mm -hmm. I think then that's totally okay. All right, and you're going to need some glue. Now I'm using the Creatology glue. This is my favorite. It's the sequin and glitter glue. And it's just because it has this, this small end on it. So it's easy to put on googly eyes and stuff like that. Um, but if you have like Elmer's glue, that works too. Just any kind of, um, you know, white water-based glue. Oh. You're going to want some paint brushes and paints. And I've got a couple of different paints here. So the Black Label, Black Label Craft Smart paint is um, one of my favorites. But also, you can use the Creatology paint, also one of my favorites. They're in these cool little pouches. Either one of those will work for painting um, your clothespins. And then you're going to want some scissors and um, googly eyes for can your make, bird. Can I make two? You, you, you certainly can make two. All right. So any questions about supplies before we get started? Um, yes, we have one question about can, can we use hot glue if we don't have any glue? If you have a grown up who is there that can help you, absolutely. You can use hot glue. Um, any other supply questions? Um, so far, nothing. I'll let All you right. know. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to make a little bit of space here so we can get started. Zoe, what colors would you like to paint your two birds? Um, these. You want, oh, you want to do a rainbow bird. Yeah. That's right. Okay. I want yellow, red, Blue, orange. So you want these four colors right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But not, these not black and white. I've never seen those. In the those are black and white. Rainbow. That's right. Those are not in the rainbow. Okay. Um, so you're going to take those. And then what you guys can do is um, take a paper plate or a paint palette, or you can use different little cups. I've got little cups. We're going to do little cups today, Zoe. Does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to use little cups to put our paint in. And then we can get started painting. I'm going to scooch this over. So I have this white piece of paper down here just because um, I want to make sure we don't get paint everywhere because this can be a little messy. Yes, Zoe, do you have a question? Um, it's not a question about the, wait, it is a question about the birds. Okay. Um, how do you put the feathers on when it's not on this side? Um, you glue it on the back. And I'm going to show you all how to do that in just a minute. All right. Um, any new questions while we're doing this? Yes, a couple of questions came up. Okay. So um, can we use 
watercolors and beads. Watercolors and beads. Separate, not together. Two okay, separate. okay. Yeah. Um, yes, you can use watercolor, but keep in mind that watercolor is very transparent. So you would have to put lots of washes on it to get a really dark color, which is fine. The wood is actually really good and absorbent. So it will pull in those colors fairly well. Um, and if that's what you have, that's what you have and that'll work. And beads. So the beads, are these beads for decorations or do we, do we know what the beads are being used for? Um, I don't know, we just know beads so far. So if- Okay, so I, I would say, I mean, let us know if you're talking about using the beads, how you wanna use the beads. And then I would say, yes, you can use beads. Um, all right. Crafting here. beads. What? Crafting beads. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. You can use anything you want to decorate the birds. Um, you can use stickers. You can use paper and glue paper on. Uh, if you don't have paint, you can use markers. That's another good sub if you don't have paint or if paint's too messy, you can do that. All right, get here. Make sure you paint on, on the white right here. Okay, but now- All right, I'm you're gonna do rainbow. So get started with your rainbow. Uh. So I'm going to do a quick example since Zoe's going to use paint. I'm just going to kind of show you. Um, so if you have Creatology makes a cool magic marker you can use um, to decorate your bird. And you could use, you know, Crayola if you want to. Um, make sure you put it on your paper, okay? Okay. So you can just use now, if you're using markers, then you don't have to layer this up. But if you're using paint, you're gonna paint like one solid color. And then when it's done, you can paint stripes, you can paint dots on it, you can make a pattern. That's what I'm gonna do here with these markers and I'll show you in just a second. So I just made my first stripes. And see how nice that looks? I mean, I'm just putting the markers on there. So if you don't have paint or you don't want to wait for the paint to dry, the markers work really, really well. So guess what, Zoe? Mia is also making a rainbow one. <gasps> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, do you need another brush? Would you like a different brush for your next yeah, color? this one's not really. Is that your yellow brush? Yeah. All right, here, let's use... Let's use that one because it's a little smaller. Okay. Are you going to do yellow or a different color? Um, you want to do your next color? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Jen, we, we are having a few people ask about an alternative to feathers. So if you don't have feathers, the easiest thing I think to use after that would be paper. So what you can do is you can take um, construction paper and, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do this when we get there, but you can take a uh, colored construction paper and then you can cut out feather shapes or whatever from your construction paper. Perfect. And what about pom-poms? Would that work too? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, especially if you have like these fuzzy ones, like you can put, um, you know, you can do a fuzzy pom-pom like this and make hair like that. What are you looking for? With the towels. Oh, do we not get towels here? I'll let you run and get some paper towels, okay? Okay. All right, go through that door. Um, yeah, you can absolutely use pom-poms if you want because they come in all different colors. So you can just, you know, it, you can match it to whatever your bird color you want. Perfect, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's do yellow. So this is just going to be a stripey bird. And again, I'm just using markers so I can show you quickly how you can you can make a really awesome look at that how bright that is. And I'm just using my markers. So same thing if you're decorating a popsicle stick. So if you don't have the clothespins and you're just doing a popsicle stick, then you're just gonna you know you're just gonna you're just gonna decorate it with your markers or your paint just like you would um, the markers. 
Okay. And for those of you who are painting, like I said, it's probably best to do the solid color first and then let it let it dry. So if you're gonna do um, if you're gonna do paint, you want to get the paint on the bird right now so that it can have time to dry and make sure that you do a thin coat. So the wood is fairly absorbent, which means it's gonna suck the water in from the paint and um, it should dry fairly quickly, quicker than if you're painting rocks or something like that. Perfect. Uh, we have a question from Mia. Um, do we need to paint the back of the clothespins? No, you, you don't have to. I did um, just so that I can show a couple of different patterns if I want to, but you can paint as much or as little of that clothespin if, as you want. Just keep in mind if you paint both sides, um, you know, it has to have twice as much drying time. So if you're going to lay it on one side and then flip it over, what I would suggest is maybe paint the front and then paint the sides of the clothespin. And that way it can lay on the back of the clothespin and not get paint on things. Okay. If you did want to paint it the whole thing all the way around, my suggestion would be to stand it up like this. It's hard to see from top down, but you're, you're basically just standing your clothespin up so that all sides can, can dry. Okay, so let's, let's say I've, I've, I've got markers or watercolors and it's a fast drying paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put your uh, bird together for those of you who have a faster drying um, medium. And then I can go back and show you guys that have used paint again, how to do it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, put the, the pinchy part of the clothes pin, this part down here that grabs, that's the bottom of your bird. And this part up here where you squeeze it, that's the top, okay? So I've left mine without any decorations on it to the end because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the eyeballs there. So you can do a couple of things here. You can glue the eyeballs down a little bit so that there's like a, what looks like a forehead or you can glue the eyeballs at the top and I'm gonna do it both ways so that you can kind of see the difference in how it looks. And I'm just putting a tiny bit of glue on the end and then I'm gonna take my googly eyes and put those into the glue. Now, if you don't have googly eyes, you can just draw on the eyes with your marker. I'm gonna glue those on and it'll take just a couple of minutes to set up. So I won't pinch it while it's drying. And then you're gonna take your foam or construction paper or felt, whichever you have and cut a beak out. And you're just gonna do a triangle. So I would say mm, a quarter of an inch by half of an inch is all you're gonna need. And then, it, and make a rectangle. So you're gonna make your rectangle. And I'm using the, the foam that has the adhesive on the back, which is, it just peels off. So it's easier to stick. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, cut a triangle out of the foam, a long skinny triangle like that. So it looks like a carrot like this. And then I'm just going to peel the backing off. And then you put it right under the eyes. So you want the flat, the wide flat part to come right up and sit under those googly eyes. So that is the beak. Okay. All right. Now, Here's where you can take your feather. I'm gonna show you this one. So what you do is you run a little line of glue on the inside of your clothes pen that's on the back side of the face. So see the face and you flip it over. You're gonna put glue just on the inside of that face. And then you're gonna stick your feather down in there and just press it into the glue for a second. And then it's going to have hair. Mama, do you like it? Oh yeah, that is amazing. Now, Zoe, 
I think that's awesome. Fair warning, that is not gonna dry for a few hours because you put that paint on really thick. This is like an enamel over here. That is some good paint. All right. But I made that color. It kind of uh, looks you like did. a brown color. It does. It's like a brick red color. That's a yeah. really neat red. All right. So that is how you would do the feather. Now, if you're going to do, so let's say you don't have the feather, because I think I got the sense that maybe a lot of people didn't have feathers. Mom, do you need to wash your hands? Need... Okay. Here, let me help you down. Whoa. You go wash your hands. All right. So let's say um, I'm going to pick a few colors here. That we can use. All right, so maybe an orange and a green and a pink. Look good. Okay. Now, um, the easiest thing to do is just cut out your feather shape together. So I love doing multiples. That way they look the same. So I'm just going to cut a rectangle real quick. And you can do these one at a time or you can do them all together. It just depends on your scissors and your paper and how thick it is. If your paper is really thick, do them one at a time because you know you can hurt your scissors or yourself if you do these. Now you can do one of two things. You can draw the feather first or you can freehand it. So I'm just gonna draw out a feather like this. Now, if you, so draw one, if it's the way you like it, don't worry, you don't have to try to draw it again. Like I said, you can either cut them all out at the same time, or you can cut this top one out and then you can use it to trace onto your other colors. All right, are you gonna paint another clothespin or would you like to use markers? Look how fast that went. Do you wanna try markers for your next one? Yeah. yeah, let's try markers. Mine is gonna be really good. Can I use these markers? Yes, those are the markers you use. All right, so I'm going to just cut around the outside of where I traced to make my feathers. And don't worry if you can see the pencil lines, you're gonna flip the feathers over and you won't be able to see this. All right, so now what you're gonna do is kind of spread them out like this. And you can do it however you like. You can put one in front and stagger the two on the outside. You can do it however you like, but see how these look like little feathers? And then, um, if you have tape, you can tape them together first and then glue them, or if you don't have tape, that's okay too. Um, maybe hard to, to glue them individually without tape. So I'm just gonna tack them together. So again, don't worry how the bottom looks, you're gonna hide that part. So that part's gonna go right behind your bird like this. So same principle as before where you're gonna put glue on the back side, and then you're gonna attach the feathers right behind the eyes on the back side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on there. And you can put your glue on the paper or you can put it on to the wood. I like to put it on the wood just because um, then I know it's not gonna to be too high on the feathers. But if you don't have the little needle nose um, glue, it might be hard to get the, the tip in there. So you can just put it straight on the feathers. All right, and then I'm just gonna put the feathers in. So I put them where I want them before I stick them down. And then when they look right to me, I'm gonna press the paper into the glue. And just hold it for a little bit. You can also use another clothespin to hold it. So then it kind of like clamps your feathers. Looks like he's got a clothespin on his face. All right, so this is my bird with my paper feathers and my marker. So this is your, your alternative bird to your paint bird. So for those of you who are painting, hopefully you're done, right? You wanna be done now because you've got to, you've got to let it dry. All right, so I'm gonna let this guy dry and we're gonna go back to this bird. So 
if you if you want to decorate the birds feathers and everything first you can so that's what I did for this one and then you can go back in later and you can decorate oh my what I had foam on it it was crazy all right and then you can go back in and you can decorate the bird after and embellish them so I'm just going to put spots on this one I did stripes on my other one so kind of mix it up a little bit what uh why don't you guys tell us some of the things you're making are you guys all making birds or is someone out there making something different you usually have somebody that's making something something just a little different than what we're doing so so far we have a bird with dots a red bird a light blue bird and a bird with glitter oh a glitter bird genius pretty cool right I love glitter. You know, I'm always going to be in favor of glitter. All right, there's my polka dot bird. How does it look? Does it look good? It looks great. Lily says that she loves your birds. Oh, thanks. It's pretty jazzy. All right, so I'm going to let this, so now I got to let it dry again. Um, that's why I like doing paint and then feather and eyes and then go back in with the paint later. That way I get to see kind of how the bird evolves before, you know, before I put its character together which is the spots. All right, uh, let's see. We should do another one. Zoe, what do you think? Did you use all the red? What? Did you use all the red? Here. Yeah, I, made, I wanted to make purple, but it made like this color. Oh, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna use the red marker then. <clears throat> we have a whole bunch of comments here. Um, we have a golden bird. We have a flamingo. Ooh. Um, it's pretty neat, right? Sophie's yeah. making seven birds, one for each color of the rainbow. That's that I love that. I know it's pretty neat. Um, so like Carly golden is making, bird. Is that like a rich bird, man? A gold bird? Twenty four. I don't know, but it sounds pretty cool. It does fancy? Um, someone named their their birds Tweet and an alfalfa sprout. What are we gonna name our birds, Zoe? Dots. Dots. <laughs> and What's this one? Rainbow. Dots and rainbow. Okay. I think I'm going to name mine Ooh, Speckles. How about Speckles? Yeah. Speckles. I like that. And Candy Corn. We'll call candy the other one corn. Candy Corn. <laughs> All I'm right. I'm going to make something really cool here. So this bird, I'm going to make this bird red. This is not a bird. Now, this one's going to be mixed media bird because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the marker for the base so that it can go quickly. And then I'm going to use paint for the top part. All right, but I'm going to put my feathers on. So I'm going to do the eyes. Let's do my eyes first. I'm going to put little tiny dots of glue so you guys can see it again. So again, at the end that you squeeze, you're gonna put the glue out here on the end. And then you can just drop your eyeballs in there. That's a weird sentence. Drop the eyes. So you got your googly eyes. And then cut your foam or your paper, whatever you've got, make your beak. So Carly says that she has a chicken named Speckles. Aw, I love chickens. <laughs> Someone suggesting Spotty. Spotty. So everybody's making birds. That's awesome. I thought for sure there might be like a snake or, you know, somebody's. Mine is a snake. Is yours a snake? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you go. Zoe's making a snake instead of a bird. Lily here is also making abstract art. Ooh, I'm a big fan of abstract art. I don't know is this a is this a Picasso Rothko? Oh, I guess Picasso is impressionism, or I mean, uh, uh, is he abstract or surrealism? Maybe he is abstract. We got Rothko. Is this Rothko style? Jackson Pollock. He's got the speckles. I like that idea. If that wasn't so messy, I think maybe that's what I'd do. Oh, maybe maybe we should do mine that, is, Zoe. Mine is you want to do speckles? A Mine is not a stripey one. Oh, yours is really pretty. Mm -hmm. All we right. I'm making a dog and also a cat. 
A dog and a cat. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna give this guy purple feathers. Don't ask me why I know it's a guy. I don't know. Just, just is. All right. So again, with the feather, you're putting the glue on the inside. And then when you get the feather as low as you want it, you're just gonna press that feather into the glue and hold it just for a second. And it stays pretty well because those feathers are really light. So he looks like some sort of, you know what? This looks, this looks like, like one of those Muppets. That's yes, what. exactly. Beaker. <laughs> Like remember when you were at your office and uh -huh. then you were like dressed up. And I dressed up like Beaker. Yeah, it's because it was almost Halloween. Oh no, something. you're telling all my secrets again. Hey. <laughs> what? All right, so let's see. We're gonna give this one maybe a different pattern. So so see, this is one that I used marker for the bottom, and then I'm doing paint for the for the decorations on this one. So, I mean, you know, this is crafting, crafting with Jen. It's always free form. So do this however you like. Um, the paints are really vibrant. So I like using the paints, but those markers, that marker turned out really well on this wooden clothes pen. All right, any other questions out there? Anything you guys would like me to repeat? Um, yes, could you repeat the feather, please? Repeat the feather, yes. Zoe, is one of your markered clothespins ready to be feathered? Can I, fe I'm not done can I feather? Uh, what about this one? Can I feather this one? Um, yes, yes. Okay, you want, yeah, you want green? You want a green feather? Mm, I would like pink and red. You want a pink? I don't have a pink feather. But. I would like blue. You want blue? Red. Blue and red? Okay. Let's do blue and red. And red. I'm going to do my other one purple. Okay. So um, I'm going to, oh, is this your, is this your top? Uh-huh. Are you done with this one? Uh-uh. Okay. No. All right, so I'm going to, um, this one's face is going to be at the bottom. We have a little reversal here. So. So if you look at your clothespin, there's the side that you pinch, and then there's the side that holds on to stuff. So you want to glue your feathers on the side that you squeeze, and that's the side where your eyeballs go. And inside, on, on the same side that's the front. So there's two sides to your clothespin, right? There's the front, and then there's the back. But on the inside of the front one, that's where you're gonna put the glue. And you're just going to put a little, like half an inch of glue, maybe. So you can kind of see it in there. See the glue? Well done. And then you're going to put your, fe oh, that, that looks good. And then you're going to put your feathers in there in the order that you want them. And then you're just going to mash them down into the glue. Mama, I accidentally. Did you break, you break your clothes pin? No. Oh. I. I made the clothespin. I made my face on. That's okay. On the, and then on you're, the, you're just going to press the feather down into the glue a little and, bit. And if, if you do it the wrong way, then just get the feathers and then open it and then put the feathers inside. That's true. If you put it the wrong way, you can just clip the feathers instead of. Yeah, that's them. easy. I'm just going to put a little bit more glue since she wants two feathers here. <sighs> Name you and your them. fancy, flashy, two-feathered bird. All right. So okay. then you can see. So this is be. This would be where the eyeballs go, and then the feathers would be sticking out of the top. That way, when it all dries, you're gonna. You can pinch it up here at the top, and then it'll fasten on to whatever you want to snap it to. Okay. All right. What else can I help you guys with? Um, we have a question from um, Aria. Can we use dot markers? Dot markers? Yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure what dot markers are, but I'm gonna think probably yes. Um, 
if they're just like regular markers, but maybe with a really fine tip or something. Yeah. Perfect. Other than that, we have a bunch of other things. Um, so Carly's making a bird. Um, the base is neon green. It has a purple wiggle line and pin glitter dots. Okay. Um, we have a cow, a peacock, a family of birds. Oh, wow. I like the bird family. That, that's, that's what we've got here, essentially, I think, right? Is a bird family at this point. I'm making one more. Oh, you're going to make one more? See, yeah. I can't even touch that one. That bird is still in the making. So here's our paper bird. So this is the, the fast version, right? If you don't want to use paint, you don't want to glue the feathers. Um, you can use sticky eyes if you don't want to glue eyes. And I use sticky foam and then just used the paper. And it's already, it's already set up. So that one's all ready to go. Perfect. Um, so I think someone's having trouble putting the feathers on. Is there any easier way to put the feathers on? Um, so if you don't want to clip your bird to anything, and you want to put your, you just want to stand it up, like sit it on a table and let it stand up. The very easiest thing to do is actually reverse the order of the bird, put the eyes on the part that clamps, and then you can just clamp it on your feather hey, like that. why did you do that? I'm sorry, it was an accident. You can just clamp it onto the feather and that makes it the very, very easiest way. Um, you could tape them, but I don't, I don't know that there's gonna be enough surface area that's free of feather for it to stick really well. Really glue's the best way. And, and honestly, I mean, it, I would take another clothespin and then just clamp it onto your bird so that it's holding the feather in place while the glue sets. So that, that trick right there will, will help you out if you're just having trouble where the feather is trying to fall off of the, um, the clothespin. Oh, wow, someone's making a, using a paper, paper towel roll to make a tree for the bird family. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. A birdhouse. That's so cool. Okay. Awesome. Well, um, guys, this has been extremely fun. I'm super glad that you came and crafted with us. Um, you want to show them all your, your, go ahead. That's fine. I was just going to tell them about the camp that we're having right now. So we're having other classes every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There will be a kids club. So you can you can sign up on michaels.com slash classes and you can go to the kids section and you can find all kinds of classes that we've got going on right now. Um, I was going to tell you guys a few of them. Let's see. We have, um, so let's see, today's Wednesday. So we've got one tomorrow. If you want to take a class tomorrow, there's still, uh, How much see. classes do we have? Do. You, well, this is the first week, so oh, you and I will do some more. But there's going to be other people teaching classes too for us, so that's very exciting. Do we have exciting. to do? Do we have to um do this until we're ninety years? Until we're ninety years old, probably. Don't uh, you want to teach kids club that long? Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so tomorrow is the spring. Uh, rolled paper flower. So that one's super cool. Um, that one, you take a canvas and some paper and you roll it up and you make these flowers on the canvas. Um, there is, let's see, there's uh, Kids Made Modern is going to be teaching a class next week that is for Pi Day. It's compass art. Uh, Elmer's is going to be doing a good luck slime. And we've got a St. Pat's Painted Rock Day. Oh, I like that. I know, that one sounds fun, too. There's a Ooh. mini garden. I know you like the Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a layered Easter egg and a canvas Easter egg canvas reveal. I need to show them. I want to show them my, um, my um, the bear that has the Easter egg that looks just like that. Maybe next yeah. time. Maybe okay. for the Easter class. Okay. 
Um, there's going to be some uh, bugs. So I think you use like the paper rolls and you can make all kinds of bugs with the paper rolls. There's going to be an Easter egg tree. So there's tons of stuff left. Camp just got started. Spring camp just got started. So go check it out. Like I said, it's on michaels.com slash classes. And then you can go down to the bottom where the kids uh, section is and you can check out all the classes um, there. So, um, so anyway, we would love to see your birds. If you guys want to have your grown up take pictures of them, you can put them on any of the social media sites. Um, tag them hashtag Michael's classes and hashtag make it with Michael's in that way we can see all of your fancy are you going to hold up your bird your I'm, fancy I'm oh I'm sorry yeah. artist over here in her process so <laughs> but we would love to see the birds that you guys have made any last questions Samina before we go no more questions. Everybody just really enjoyed the class and are saying thank you so much. That's awesome. All right, guys, I'm so glad you joined us today. And like I said, I hope I see you for some more spring camp soon. Zoe, you want to say bye? Mm -hmm. Okay, wave bye. I, I, did, I didn't get to show them mine. It's okay. We'll show them that next time, okay? okay. Can you wave bye and say bye to everybody? Bye. <laughs> bye. Talk to you next time. <laughs>